it's like the middle of August and which, you know, where I live, that's like freaking hot. But it's cold in my house. And so I have this giant, giant, thick wool blanket. Because apparently I freeze in the middle of August. But today, <laughs> today I thought, oh, and by the way, I'm sorry I missed a couple of days. Life was just kind of crazy and, you know, it happened. So I'm back to being good and vlogging regularly. Or videoing, whatever it's called, YouTubing. <laughs> today I thought I would do something that is probably long overdue, which is a bookshelf tour. You've seen my bookshelves, there they are, and there's one actually right in front of me that's kind of small. Anyway, I thought I'd actually, you know, give you a guide. I just rearranged and I'm very happy with it. So, yeah, here goes. But do you see how massive that blanket is? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Anyway, back to the bookshelves. So I've got this bookshelf right here. Main one that you probably have always seen in my vlog. At the very top here, we have the shelf that I didn't really know what to do with. All the Wolves I'm Home happens to be a particularly pretty book. I haven't read it yet. It's on my to read. Then the next shelf, we have my British literature, which I took a British lit class. Absolutely loved it. I went through these three books in that class. Milton's Anthology of English Literature. And, you know, we have Sherlock Holmes with a little, I'm very proud of my decoration for this. I've got my little um, magnifying glass with a little feather because it's freaking British and old school. And then we've got a dip pen here. It's actually my grandfather's. And then in the next shelf down, we have all of my young adult books. This row right here happens to be all of my just regular fiction young adult. Lots of John Green, a couple of Jesse Andrews. And then we've got my science fiction, fantasy, and then dystopia. The science fiction ties, it ties in with all of that. I have a lot of that. I may or may not like that. And the next shelf down is just this beautiful, beautiful thing. So I've got my regular, you know, first seven books. Just normal. I got the set, the box is, the box is somewhere. And then I actually have this from when my parents went to London, and turns out that's what Harry Potter's playing with under the stairs the first day, so I thought fitting. And then I have Hermione's wand. Uh, there's the box up there. Hermione, wait, Hermione Granger. You can barely see it. So then I have Cursed Child, of course, which I love taking it into account that it's a play and can't offer what the books can. Then we have the fourth... For, there we go. Fourth uh, Harry Potter, which is in uh, the French edition, at least. Harry Potter et le Coupe de Feu. Then we have the German edition that I got from my sister of the first one called, I'm going to butcher this, and I don't know how to say Harry Potter with a German accent, but Harry Potter und der Stein der Weisen. That's my best attempt. And then I have this edition of the three extra random ones from the Hogwarts Library that I got at um, the Oxford bookstore that I can't remember the name of, but they're just absolutely beautiful. And then I have Sorcerer's Stone, and I don't know what I'm going to do when I have to buy the illustrated edition of Chamber of Secrets very soon because I only have so much space to display the beautifulness. So the next shelf, we'll start with this side. This is my middle grade fantasy. I've got Aragon, although I was going to continue the series, but I've heard, honestly, that Inheritance is just not worth continuing. I've got my Rick Riordan, which I am a recent fan, but I'm really excited about the new Magnus Chase coming out, once again, going to be displayed once I get it. Then I've got my other fantasy, like adult, I guess, although Tolkien is, like, The Hobbit or, and, like, Tom Bombadil are technically children's things, but, you know, whatever. And then on the next shelf, I have more middle grade fiction. I have my books, which are actually like children's uh, literature, which, hey, that's my book. It's on a shelf. That's exciting. And look, my name and my sister's name, but my name. So then I have Lemony Snicket. I have The Chronicles of Narnia, Seraphina and the Black Cloak, which is on my feed. And these are actually just some books that I loved as a child, actually read and loved as a child, not now. 
I mean, I'm sure they're amazing now. That's kind of why I've kept them on the shelf. Then I have the list of books that I have yet to get to this month that were on my to read. It's been a bad month for reading. I'm trying to catch up. Psst, know that I'm sorry and I'm doing what I can. On to the next shelf. This shelf, which is generally hidden by my bed. So top shelf is just uh, modern literature uh, and then just some like random autobiographical stuff. So, you know, I like this shelf a lot. It's got some young adult technically on here, which I still consider it sort of modern fiction. Then the next shelf down we have my love for archaeology and primarily Egyptology. Those are all the Amelia Peabody series that I have, which I finally finished Lord of the Silent, thank god. I'm also slowly reading through the Oxford History of Ancient Egypt, which has taken me far too long. And then I have, you know, ways to learn hieroglyphs and Arabic. It's... this is my life. So next shelf down, I have my Christian literature, which I grew up reading a lot of. I read the... I grew up reading a lot of the Christian Miller series, and that was just absolute fun. And then I got more into the fantasy stuff, and um, that's what all this is, except Redeeming Love is just a beautiful book that I have yet to finish. Because once again, apparently I'm a terrible human. It's fine. Next shelf down is my history shelf. See, I don't just, I have a lot of nonfiction. I love reference books. We start here with kind of British slash American history. I don't even know. Then we go into my classical history, and then um, with Greek and Roman, and then we go into, I took a class on the Crusades, and then on colonialization of the Americas, well, North America, and that was incredibly interesting. I suggest studying it in depth. Next shelf, we have a bunch of French books because I speak French. Anywho, more reference, Japanese book that I previously mentioned. More reference, just textbooks, then the bottom shelf is actual textbooks I used in college. We got some biochem, physics, don't even know. Then we got some religion down here. I'm a big fan of theology, so I've got that. I'm also reading this book called The Total Truth right now. I'm going through it with my dad, so yeah, that's a thing. And another book you didn't see is The Miniaturist, which belongs over on that shelf yonder. Yonder. Way. On this shelf here, we've got some books that, on top, that I actually borrowed from people. Then we've got my comics, and uh, graphic novels, and manga. And then we have, yes, I still have these. I am not sure why. I haven't gotten rid of them, but I haven't. So I have them. They're over here. It's a thing. And then adjoining that, you know, with Stephanie Meyer's host as the transition point, I have science fiction, like adult science fiction. With C.S. Lewis adult, or with C.S. Lewis a, um, science fiction series that I have yet to read, Star Wars, Stephen King, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, of course, and 1984, that's what it's called. More Stephen King, The Time Machine, which is quite good and also very short. And then, you know, a zombie apocalypse guide, because why not? And I have my lightsaber from when I cosplayed, because I definitely cosplayed as a Jedi at Dragon Con last Labor Day weekend. <laughs> Next thing that I have on my shelf were these two little dinosaurs, because they were at my grandparents, and they're f basically totally from Firefly. And that's science fiction, so I just... I just lop it over there. It's fine. That's what I have on my shelves right now. I hopefully will be, you know, constantly getting books and hopefully it will grow. My goal is to one day have a real library. I've only within the past few years really been trying to grow my library and I'm starting to index it in Microsoft Excel and I would really love a personalized library card stamp. So yeah, that's all for now. Cheers. Oh, and side note, you know I mentioned I love theology? Well, I got my dad, he also loves theology, I got my dad this birthday present from this company called Missional Wear, and they sent a little sticker with it. It's so awesome! I think that's Spurgeon? And I know that's Calvin. I mean, I'm a big Reformation geek, so yeah.